many people in America will tell me when they work in some sort of a subservient ro role that they do not want the leadership responsibility of becoming a supervisor or manager. In my life, I don't want to have to deal with the accounting of that kind of a position in retail, despite the fact that I could probably do it in my sleep. The reality is, it's not that I don't want the responsibility of the money, the reality is that that sort of work makes me stressed out, whereas the woman that I'm in love with probably can do that in her sleep. My late spouse could also do that in her sleep, and she was pretty brilliant about that. She managed our household both in Japan and in America, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But I am talking about that managers do need some help, and sometimes they need help in language, and what they don't take advantage of is other managers that come through their shop. Now, I'm the one who put it out there that people in a strip mall should know each other, but that's only if you're trying to upgrade and uplift the entire employee base. But if you're starting to use your networks to harm people, to harm consumers, to harm guests around your store or in around your property, you're foolish. Because you don't have the right to do that, and that's the best way and the fastest track to get yourself in jail. It's also the best way and the fastest track for you to produce for yourself the marvelous reputation that most of you have, that you're stupid.